well, there was a touch of inevitability to the result and exactly that's how it played out on the fourth day. In Jamaica, the West Indies chasing a huge target. That was never in question. The question was whether they could offer any sort of resistance. It looked for a brief period that they perhaps could, but once India got that one breakthrough with Jaspeed Bumrah picking up the wicket, then it was all downhill for the West Indies. The gulf between the two teams highlighted yet again four innings in the series and the West Indies crossing 200 just in two of those. The other two, they were extremely weak, once being bowled out for 100, once a little over 100. The Indians really like a pack of vultures all over the West Indies and making it very difficult for uh, the home team. The wickets shared around in that final innings, giving India a series win 2-0 and also equally importantly, 120 points now at the top of the World Test Championship table. Well, plenty of gains for India at the end of this series. Lots for them to be happy and take home uh, from here. Uh, Hanuma Vihari, a young player who's give, who was given an opportunity in Australia, but really in these two test matches coming into his own, a debut 100 in the first innings at Jamaica, following it up with another solid performance in the second innings. So he should feel like he should be a permanent member of this playing 11 going forward. Ajinkya Rahane has been struggling for form a little bit over the last uh, couple of years but in this series got uh, plenty of runs got a hundred as well so uh, he will feel like he is going to kick on and have a big season in uh, test cricket going uh, forward the bowling that was really the standout of this series Jaspreet Bumrah was outstanding a hat-trick in the series Mohammad Shami bowled with fire throughout the series and Ishant Sharma was uh, the leader of the pack in a sense he too picked up uh, plenty of wickets and bowled with a lot of menace and penetration. Ravindra Jadeja playing the support role in that uh, bowling quartet. So for India, there are a lot of gains from uh, this series for them to take home South Africa. And a couple of problem areas for uh, India to look at closely. Perhaps the position of KL Rahul is uh, the biggest talking point that comes in at the end of this series. He's had four innings in which a couple of times he got starts but did not convert a couple of single, uh, single digit scores as well, which means that KL Rahul's position at the top of the order will definitely come under scrutiny when the selectors meet to pick the squad for the test matches against uh, South Africa. Rishabh Pant, now he has been anointed as uh, the wicketkeeper, the first choice wicketkeeper across formats for India, but with Vridhiman Saha back in the mix and fit now uh, to, to play with his experience, the Indian selectors will perhaps think about him in the test matches uh, that are coming up against uh, South Africa. Minor problem areas for India, in fact their bigger problems are on how to get some of their pedigree players included in that playing 11 you would imagine that in home test matches Ashwin will come back into uh, the playing mix but Rohit Sharma that's another position that uh, that's another player that India are struggling to get into that uh, playing 11 but a problem of plenty is always better than having a problem there of uh, players who you're not quite finding for uh, the right uh, jobs in that playing.